Hey guys, I'm Dave Dasher, welcome back to the Gamer Play, and we are playing Discworld for the PlayStation. Well, I suppose when you're this rich, garden gnomes are just too passe. Yes. Well, it's all right if you go for that pre-patrician opulence. The front door. Yet yeah, another chance to have something closed in my face. Dragon-shaped. Well, I'll be... I wonder why she has such awful stockings. I'm just feeding my little darlings now. Do come around the back. Ah, the gardens seem to go all the way around. What a novel concept. A nice blue ribbon and rosette. Good grief, it's sizzling! Oh, hello again. You're at the hairdressers. Ramkin. Do mind the doo-doos. Eh? Well, if you don't, the doo does what it does. It does? What does it do? Well, it does the dirty... the doo-doos, I mean. It can be dodgy ducking doo-doos. If there's any carbon on your feet, you could be history and geography. Dragon droppings are rather unstable, even explosive. That's what the boots are for. Can't go tracking this sort of thing in the house. It eats through the rugs. And the foundations, actually. Oh, yes, yes. Um, I'll be careful. Some sort of constable, are you? Eh? Well, your hat. It's very grand. Officer's issue, I suppose. Um, no, not exactly. Um, I'm a wizard. Ah, oh, sorry. I'm afraid I don't have much to do with men. Dragon fancier, are you? Run that bit about men past me again. Oh, well, I've just never... There's never... Well, dragons have taken up most of my time, really. I've never really got the hang of... Well, you know, boys and everything. Let's not mention dragons. I've had a bad day. On earth was that bang? Oh no, there goes another one. Poor little knight. He was one of my best breeders too. There he goes. Off. He's gone off. It's the flames, you see. It's all in the digestion. The more combustible the food they eat, the more powerful the flame. Really? Now and then one of the little beggars overdoes it and sets himself off. Rather nasty, really. Uh. Dragon innards are so hard to shift from the ceiling. Do they all explode? Well, what they're trying to do is modify their digestion to create hotter flames. If they could only approach evolution more scientifically, they might do better. As it is, the species needs an awful lot of looking after. Is a self-detonating, toxic, defecating house pet really going to catch on? Well, there's the excitement of breeding, pedigree lines and all. Yeah, and you can watch them all blow up afterwards. Yes, it's hard. You get so fond of them. 
I give the members of one family line the same name and then just attach a number on the end. It makes it less heart-wrenching to lose one then. That was Mambo the 15th who just detonated now. Sadly, his son is a bit of a disappointment. How? Yes, he's a runt. Mambo the 16th will probably never survive to breed. He's too small to fly, and dragons mate on the wing, don't you know? Still, he's a romantic little soul, a real charmer to the ladies. Ladies? Well, lady dragons. He's always doing little mating dances, quite the little show-off, really. Dragons? Where? All around you, young man, swamp dragons, the only kind of dragon that normally exists, of course. They're quite lovable. Are you a member of the Dragon Protection Society? Protection Society? My dear woman, there's a dragon out there that is bent on burning this whole city to the ground. My dear woman, there's a dragon out there that is bent on burning this whole city to the ground. Yes, poor thing. It's usually the owner's fault, you know. Well, I'll catch you later then. like that fine ank more pork workmanship off my pixels. Hmm, Mambo the 16th. Quite a chubby little chap, aren't you? Nigel Hawthorne Rampshire the 8th. Randolph Bloomington Horrogate the 11th. Tecumseh Farrogut the Ninth. I wonder if wood is really the wisest thing to make dragon cages out of. Nope! I can't shift it. Ah, the tradesman's entrance. That doesn't work. Obviously the commander of the guards. Alright guys, that's my time. Day of the Usher, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next part.